Jones Industrials gained almost seven points, and an average share of common stock went up 30 cents. The folk rock music festival, which brought 350,000 people to a rural area two hours from New York City, finally ended at dawn's early light. But while the music is over, the aftertaste lingers on. This is one reason Max Yasker's neighbors are upset because he leased his farm to a rock music festival. This is another. More than 350,000 people, mostly young people, showed up to hear the greatest rock groups in the country. The promoters billed it as three days of peace and music. And for most people, it was just that. Little thanks to the promoters. There were many problems. Like not enough sanitation facilities, food, or water. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, yes. How long have you been here? About two weeks. Roberto's been here three weeks, and I live here most of my life. You're from Spain? Yeah. Are you enjoying the festival? Yeah, it's outside. <laughs> it's beautiful. Why did you come to the festival? <sighs> to see the best music in the world, man. <laughs> it's great. La musica, no? Claro. <laughs> He's a musician. How about the problems that people have been talking about? Do those things bother you? water and shortage of food. We've been locked out of our car without any money for three days. <laughs> no sleeping bags. So I guess it isn't bothering us too much. <laughs> there were thousands of minor injuries and some major medical problems. Well, like, it all comes down to, like, you know, taking care of yourself, man, you know? Like, all of us have to take care of ourselves, and some people know how and some people don't. Some people get out in the woods, they don't know how to live. And there was, as one would expect with 350,000 20th century youth, drugs. I think the thing is more people around here than dope, though. You don't think it's getting out of hand? No, I don't think anything's out of control. Uh, everything I've seen has been a very together thing. It's, it's turning people on to a different kind of living from the city. That's what's happening out here. It'll be two or three days before all the people leave the peace and quiet of the Catskill Mountains. It may be longer before this area returns to normal. Despite the problems, and there were many problems, though they were not as great as many people believed, this weekend says a lot about the youth of America. More than 350,000 people came looking for peace and music. Many said they learned a lot about themselves and learned a lot about getting along together and priorities. And for most, that alone makes it all worthwhile. Lem Tucker, NBC News, in upstate New York. Good night for NBC News.